to keep stirring your solution here until the lye is completely dissolved into uh, the liquid that you've got. Now, uh, the lye will have increased the temperature of the solution substantially. It may have even brought the liquid to a boil. Um, so what you want to do now is, um, once your lye has been fully uh, incorporated into the solution, you want to set that aside and let the solution cool down. Now the range of temperatures that we're looking for here are between 100 and 110 degrees. And so right now this is well beyond that uh, temperature and so we want to let that cool down. But what we want to do is we want to actually warm up the oils that we've got and um, get those to be about 100 degrees for, uh, so that we can match the temperatures between the two, uh, the two jars there so that when we're mixing them together they're approximately the same temperature. So you can either use the microwave, you can put this in a double boiler, um, whichever way that you figure is the easiest for you to get the oil to be at a higher temperature. And so the temperature that we're looking for is about 100 degrees. While you're waiting for the oil and then the lye solution to come to the same temperature, um, what you'll probably want to do is uh, set up your uh, super fatting oils that you want to use if you're going to be using any and then some of the fragrances that you would want to put in um, if you're going to put in any and any colors that you're going to be um, putting together. So I have just another a little can canister here so that I can use to put in um, some oils that I'm going to be super fatting with and I'm actually going to be using shea butter to super fat with this one. So for this particular soap, um, we're actually going to be using, um, for the fragrance, some lavender oil as well as some uh, oil that is a uh, fragrance oil that is called Spells and Dreams. And so we're just going to add that to our super fatting oil and then we're going to add some Spells and Dreams. And for a batch of soap about this size, you'll need about one to two ounces um, total of fragrance to have the fragrance um, be throughout the entire soap that you've got. And so let's check the temperature of our lye solution here. And we are at 100 degrees for our lye solution, which is good. And then for our oil that we've heated up, we're at a hundred and ten degrees. And so that is uh, close enough for us to be able to mix together. You want to be within a ten degree range um, when you mix these together. Now before you mix these together you want to make sure that you have a mold that you're going to be pouring this into. Now you can use a fancy mold that's made of wood that you buy online or um, you can use just a simple cardboard box and you want to line it with uh, wax paper so that there's no spilling and no um, the soap doesn't melt or go through and soak into the cardboard that you've got. Um, so have that ready for you and then so you've got your lye and your oil and you'll want to mix them together until they reach trace. Now to reach trace um, the soap or the lye solution and the oil solution um, need to be mixed for I would say approximately 15 minutes depending on um, the type of oil that you're using. And so you want to make sure that you put on all of your safety equipment because we will be transferring the lye into the oil. And so we've got um, our super fat and our fragrance that we're going to be adding later after the uh, solution reaches trace and then we've got our lye solution that we've prepared we've got our oil solution that we've prepared and they're approximately the same temperature uh, within 10 degrees of each other and so what we'll want to do now we'll want to take the lye solution that we've got and then we'll want to mix it into the oil and so you go ahead and start mixing the oil and pour the lye solution 
into the oil that you've got. Make sure you get it all. And set that aside, and then you just want to keep start. You just want to start stirring here. Now you don't want to be mixing um, all day to get your soap to trace. And so what you can do now is just add a stick blender and go ahead and mix the solution uh, with the stick blender. You notice that it actually um, begins to thicken quite substantially when you use the stick blender. And you don't want to use it solely um, because it will incorporate uh, a lot of bubbles into your solution. And so you want to mix for a little bit and then um, use the regular spoon uh, to uh, mix out any of the bubbles that you may have included in your solution after using the stick blender. So this is thickening up quite nice and it's almost at the point where um, we'll want to add any colors or any fragrances or any super fats that we'll um, be adding to our solution here. So I'll just give it uh, one more uh, quick uh, mix with the stick blender here. Okay, and so this has um, almost reached full trace that we've got, and so I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, fragrance and then the oil, the shea butter, that we're going to be using for super fat. Okay, and we'll fully incorporate that. Okay, so uh, we've reached complete trace, well we've reached trace and um, it is like a custard. Now you don't want to mix it too much, um, otherwise it'll get too thick and when you pour it into the mold, um, it will have a uh, top on it that is not appealing. So we've got our mold right here and we're just going to take the solution that we've got and then pour it into our mold. And so we'll make sure we get everything. Okay, now that our soap is in the mold, um, all we need to do is set it in a secure place. We'll probably want to cover it up or insulate it so that as it's going through the saponification process, it has all the heat that it needs to let, allow the lye to break down the oil into the soap that we want. And so really all we have to do now is just put the mold away and let it cure. If any of these instructions seemed unclear, you can always go to metaphysicalfarms.com and look at the soap making how-to guide. Um, it will allow you to see a more in-depth guide on how to uh, make the soap that uh, we've just uh, had an example of here today.